The Sixers, meanwhile, keep rolling along. And uh, it is a pretty amazing story. And I know they played the Pistons last night. But, you know, somewhere along the line, you're going to think this team is going to stop playing efficiently. They play efficiently every game. Like, they, they, the way they their, their sets are being run, their half-court offense, the way they're defending, they lead the league in offensive rating and true shooting percentage while now in first place in the Eastern Conference. Now, this is not something that we actually thought would happen, but, but it adds so much more to the Ben Simmons thing where another shoe has fallen today. So let's catch up. Ben Simmons now is being fined by the 76ers uh, until he cooperates with team physicians on his mental health issues and fulfills other basketball-related obligations. This was a Woads report, and that, of course, means engaging with the team, being, being, being in film sessions, doing what he needs to do outside of actually participating because he says he's not mentally ready to play. So what that tells me here is even if he is seeing somebody, He's being so evasive with the Sixers that they de deserve a little more information on what he is doing. And since, since he's not doing that, they say, well, guess what? That means that you're not part of this team. And whether it's mental health or not, we do not have the right to pay you right now. Uh, basically, yeah, that's what it is. And so now we're back into this Ben Simmons thing. And it doesn't matter a whit because the Sixers keep rolling along. I know a lot of people out there that are sick of this whole drama, but the Sixers are doing so much the right thing in this situation. Go, yeah, you want to play this game with us? Yeah. Uh, in other words, yeah, well, I'm getting mental health. Is that all you're going to give us? You're seeing somebody? That's it? You're not, that, that's all right. We're supposed to just trust you right now that you're doing the right things. Uh, we need a little more information. And if you're not going to give us a little more information, then guess what? You're not part of this team, and we don't have a right to pay you. Is basically that what it is? Yeah, apparently, uh, with coming back to the team, it's not enough to just go ride an exercise bike on the side. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that come with being with the team, even if you're not playing. And apparently, those things include film sessions, weight room, and in doing things with your teammates, even if you're not playing in the game. If you're saying that you can't do that, all Ben Simmons would have to do is have a doctor say – not what he's going through. Not a single thing about his diagnosis, not what's wrong with him. All of that is confidential. The only thing they would need a doctor to do is just like anybody else in the world, a doctor's note that says he can't watch film. Mm -hmm. He can't lift weights. He can't do this due to his mental status, just like anything else, uh, any other situation. And apparently when the Sixers ask for that, like, I don't, apparently they're not asking, hey, are, are you depressed? Do you have any? They're not asking that. They're saying, has a doctor told you that you were unable to do X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and his answer is, I'm getting help, and he will not answer right. the question. And, and uh, if you really want to be complete about it, have whoever he's saying communicate with the Sixers. Say, yeah, yeah he, he, he really uh, right now is uh, unable to, to view film. And, and he doesn't have to give the personal diagnosis. Nope, not he, at all. That's what they're talking about with the consultation and w with their own specialist. And, you know, they, they, have, they have urged him. They, they have a right to advise uh, him to see certain experts. They are the team. They, they own his contract. Uh, so th they do have some rights, and he, he is not willing to cooperate. And I guess he thought, uh, okay, he's going to play this card and get paid. And the Sixers go, guess what? <laughs> We're not going to just pay you now uh, because we need a little more information on this whole thing. We just can't take your word for it. And they have a right to do that. I know that sickens people. And people say, well, I want this drama over. But while the Sixers are playing the way they do, I, this doesn't affect me at all, this Ben Simmons thing. It just doesn't. Oh. It's just a side topic. It, it, it's like it's, it's, it's in the, only in the little package. Like the, the Sixers are over here. They're playing ball. And this other little package over here does not affect what the Sixers are doing, playing ball here. So I don't understand these people who say you have to get this over with. You got to trade them as soon as possible. You got to get what you can get. I don't get these people. I, I don't get it either. And there are also people that continue to let Ben Simmons in that way completely off the hook. Now, if Ben Simmons is going through something, and I'm not calling Ben Simmons a liar. Ben Simmons has to be an adult about the treatment. Uh -huh. And we've finally gotten to the point, through a lot of hard work, by the way, from people, uh, Lane Johnson being amongst, uh, amongst them and many others, to where they're treating mental health the same way as an injury. Because in previous generations, they'd have told them, shut up and get out there, and there would have been no mm -hmm. discussion about it whatsoever. But if you have a hurt, if you tore your ACL, at least if you told the team that you tore an ACL, the team would then say, okay, can a doctor say 
that you tore an ACL, and then what would be the plan for the rehab? Mm-hmm. You do you would not have to go to the team doctor and or any of that, but you would have to go to mm-hmm. a doctor, and that doctor would share it. We finally right. got to the point where mental health is an injury, and Ben Simmons has chosen to disclose nothing. Yeah, it's just like okay, I want to see my own back doctor. Fine, All right? You see the back doctor. The back doctor has uh, some kind of diagnosis. That back doctor would consult. With the Sixers doctors. Okay, right. this is what I found. And, 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 and he wanted to be, trust me, I mean, I'm this personal back guy, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. But there's got to be that kind of communication where they know it's official. Right, because if you just say you have an ACL, oh, my ACL's torn. I can't play this season. Pay me $30 million. No one would say, yes, believe the player. <laughs> but now we've gotten to the point where we've made all this progress, and people uh-huh. want to basically just blindly take his word for it. When we, unfortunately for him, this is the seventh or eighth excuse we've heard uh-huh. about why he isn't playing. And again, I'm not saying that he's lying. And I actually probably feel like he is going through things, and he's uh, in a way probably panicking as far as how to handle it. But that doesn't mean that there aren't repercussions for his actions. Mm-hmm. And they just are. Well, it goes on and on. And meanwhile, the Sixers have somehow divided this from that and are playing really good basketball and they're fun to watch. And even shorthanded last night, they, yeah, it was a bad team they beat. But, st- but still, they're, you know, like they're playing efficient basketball. The fact that they're making more threes and, and have a, a, a better shooting percentage uh, – uh, on true shoot, shooting percentage, and, and that, you know, that's pretty amazing to me. That shows they got good ball movement. They're sharing the ball. They're getting good open shots. They're making more of those shots. So right now, no complaints and, and no immediacy to pull the trigger on any kind of a deal. And it's, nope. it, it, it's got to be killing him that they're winning without him because the plan, the agency probably uh, had this plan where uh, they're going to struggle and they're going to really need Ben and they're going to have to come to us and they're going to have to force a trade and all this stuff. It's not happening. Yeah, and but it stinks that not for the sixth part. Seven and two is good. Mm-hmm. Right? They'd have been seven and two with them. I don't seven and two yeah. outside for that. Mm-hmm. If they're gonna win seven out of nine all year, oh, pretty good. Oh, I'll take that. Yep. So it's not that. It stinks that either his mental state will not allow him to participate in this like an adult, or that he's so petty he's just a con. that he refuses yeah. to do it. Both of them just sad that a person would be that way, either his mental state, but his lack of transparency causes me to question it when I don't want to question it because I think it's good that Lane Johnson came forward and things like that. Absolutely I I don't want to question it. He's making me question it based on how he's acting. The majority of people, whether it's right or wrong, look at the situation and see him as a con right now. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about it.